Hello, Mr. O here. Today I'm going to show you this aquarium puzzle. Uh, lots of fun. I just started doing it and uh, I'd like to show you some of my uh, tips and tricks here. So let's head on over to the website and uh, try some of these. So the website puzzle-aquarium.com. You can find all these neat puzzles. Let's start off with a 6x6 uh, six six here and uh, show you some of the tips and tricks that I've been discovering and hopefully that will help you to be more successful. The idea is that you fill up the puzzles. So each of these uh, areas is called an aquarium and they have to be all the same level. So if I fill this aquarium at all, then I have to use, um, I, it has to fill across, right? So for example, if this aquarium is filled, it could be here or it could be here and these, Okay, but you can't go fill and then stop here because there would still be some water that would be needed here. So this aquarium could be filled here, could be filled here, or it could be all of this stuff. Right? So uh, that's the idea. It has to be all the way across the aquarium. So let's see if we can figure this out. In fact, I'll start right there. This is a two. So the two means how many boxes will be filled in that row. This three and these fours mean vertically how many boxes. So this two, it cannot be here in here because again it needs to be the same level across so if that's the case then none of these could be filled it has to be only these two uh, notice here's a couple more tips and tricks this is a four I could put one here I could put two here but you need to have at least one there okay this would be a required amount because you can only put three up here and so and so on and so forth um, notice the five across here that means it's only six across total. That means five of them have to be shaded or five of them have to be water. So let's go ahead and dump water in these twos, right? Because there couldn't be an individual one missing here. And so we need to pick between this one and this one, which one will be a missing uh, amount. Now, four, we already know these two cannot be water because we know this one cannot be water and you can't have water above non-water, of course. Makes sense. So this four is now done. One, two, three, four. And this five horizontally is now done. We know that those are the five. All right, if that's the case, then we know the one above it can't be water, and we know these five as well. All right, things are looking up. Now, this is a three vertically, so let me show you a tip here. This could be the one. We, we, we know that it's not, but this was the one. This could be the one. But we certainly know this cannot be shaded because you're only going to get one more here or here. Same with this, here or here, but not, but definitely not there. Uh, also, we get, we have this one shaded up here, a four, and since water level has to be water has to be level, then this one would have to be shaded as well, and the one below it. So this two is now completely done. This three, I only need one more, and there's only one more box to put it. So that three is done. Four is done. This three, well, we're going to need five here, and we already got one missing, so all four of these for sure. Three is done, three is done, this two is done, and we hit the done button. And there you have it. We've, we've done it. We've completed one puzzle. Let's try one more just for, uh, just for having a good time here together. Um, but that's the idea. If you're getting that, and you're good to go. So let me uh, let me go to this six by six hard. Sure, try a harder one. All right. Um, see if we can find some good ones. Uh, this four. And so I'm noticing five. I'm only gonna have one missing. Again, with five, we're gonna either be missing this one or this one. Those are your cho two choices. We can't miss these because there'll be two together. And we can't miss these. So these ones have to be water. Okay, that's a that's a must. And so uh, three, we're looking vertically, you know, could be here, could be here, could be here. There's a lot of different options. Could be these two and none of these. Some of your aquarium boxes can be completely empty, and that's all right. All right, so two in here, three have to go across here, one in all of these. That's pretty good, good information here. All right, uh, notice this one vertically is already done. 
So we know this is we know this is going to be true. Okay, but let me show you how I also could use this information if this wasn't already given. We know this one and this one would have to be open because there can only be one here. Same with this one, because one could go here or one could go here. But we cannot. It's not going to go piling up any higher than that. But because we know this is our one, we're all set. We're good to go. All right. Um, this one is done. Well, this one's not so bad. All right, we have a two. Uh, if we knew any of these, we would know this one was not. We'll have to see about that in a moment. Um, two, this two vertically could be here. If one or the other of these is filled, we know these ones would both have to be empty. So that's good to know. Um, we know for sure, this is kind of interesting, this one, this one could be water. But even if both of those were water, we would still need to fill this by one. And if you have to fill something that's horizontal by one, then you're going to have to fill them both. Which means this one or this one is not water. Okay, Because we have to have three across, these two must be shaded. That's good to know. Um, what else we got? One here. Four. So... Yeah, these are all individuals. This could be one, two, three, four, and this could be empty. Could this be empty? That's a good question. And let me tell you why it cannot be empty. If this were empty, this one would be forced to be empty. Now we have, oh no, that could, that could happen, sorry. Yeah, so we would have, we would have to have fill these two then, if that was the case. So we'll have to watch for that. If this one's empty, and we know these two have to be filled because of the two. All right, good to know, good to know. Um, three, three across, we need one more here. We need one in here and two across here. Okay. Um, for this one to be filled, we would need our one to be filled there. One, two, three. All right. For our five, we need. So again, with this two, it's either going to be this one and this one or these two. That's our question. If it's going to be this one here and this one here, then it would be neither of these. And if one of these is open, then both of these would have to be filled in with water. All right, so we have one here, we have one here. We could fill these two, we could fill these two, but as long as we had any any other information here or here, we would know about our heights. How high could this go? All right. For example, if I fill this one, we could not fill this one. All right, four. One, two, we're gonna have two open, two open ones here. If we fill these two, if we fill this one, we have to fill two. That would mean these two are exits. This means this one. But sometimes it's helpful to take stab. Um, Let's try something that has a lot of impact. For example, this two. If this one were water, let's just see what happens there. If this were water, then this would have to be water below it as well, because water, the water level is everything below it, which means this is all completely done. There's nothing else here, here, or here. Well, this would mean that this, this two could not be here and here. It'd have to be here which would mean water has to go below it. And that means this four is completely done. Now watch what happens. If this four is completely done, this two can't go here because the water will be flat there. So because this can't be used, neither can this, and this two runs out. So what do we know? We know that's an X. Let me go ahead and remove some of these things. And if that's an X, 
check this out. If this is an X, then we know we can't put one here because we have two to go across. They have to go here and here, which means this is this four is a we know that's not a uh, water there, which is so nice. Okay, uh, I need to get rid of that potentially. All right, so this two could still go here or here or both of these. We'll still have to see about that two. But we know where this two goes, which is nice. Now, does that mean this two could still be here and here? Sure, it could be. All right, but we need to be concerned. We need to check all of those different possibilities. If three is gonna be vertically down, we know that would use up all of our threes in that row, so that helps us. All right, so three could go one, two, and then one of these. Uh, one, two, could go two here. So there's nothing we can eliminate. We can't like even eliminate this one or necessarily this one. So we'll have to wait and see about that three. Four. Four, we'll have to see about that as well. And the one, so we're going to have one horizontally. Let's look at some different possibilities here. If this were the one, that means this is not filled, this is not filled, this is not filled, and the one's above it. Okay. What are, what are the implications do we have? Well, let's, let's paint some of these in. If this is the one, we'll have to remember to go back and change this. If it's wrong then our um, that's not there 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 and there okay so all of that would not be true and then we have our threes that still need two more all right if this three needs two more one of them could be here or could they they could both be here and here so this one would have to, would have to be a must because we could put one here, but the other one's gonna have to be a here. Or these could both be, we don't know. So this would be a, a no. Then this is a yes, this is a yes. Because of this three, we need to have one here. That two is now completely done. And this three will be needed, has to be here because this three vertically still is needed. The one is done, these two are here and here. And you'll notice that that does not work. We don't have three in here. We have too many in here. What do we find out? That this is not our one. So we go back and we change these around. We say, well, if that's not the one, then what is? So we still have a couple more options, but we know it's not there. And this four, that helps us tremendously because if this is, we know this is not, this is not uh, water, this is not water. So these four have to be water, one, two, three, four. All right, um, and if that's the case, these two, that has to be true. These two, we're still wondering about this one. These were still from the previous, previous one. In fact, we know these are all X's now. If this has to be water, and these two are no water places, then these two have to be filled, these two will have to be filled. This three is now completely done, which means this, this two is done, this three is finished. No, it's not. Never mind. Okay, I think we don't we didn't really know this one anyway. Alright, um, so this is done. We have our two. Our one's either here or here. This two, we need a couple. Alright, so let's see what happens next. Uh, this one is a must because we have only three boxes. This one is a lower one, so it could be these two or just this one. So this is now finished. Um, we're still waiting on our one. Now we could have one here or one here for this three. And we need one more for the two and one more for the one. So we just make that, make that connection, make it happen. So if we put here, okay. So if one goes here, then both of these would have to be X's. That's no good for this three that's vertical. So we put our one here. Our two is now finished. And still working on this three, huh? 
There we go. Sorry about that. This one is filled because of the one, but didn't have to go too high. Apologize. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hopefully you find these to be entertaining and fun. So much, so much joy to be had in puzzles.